this collaboration actually it, it really comes up at a perfect time i mean we're coming up on opening day and like the end of october november everybody's kind of you know they're waxing up their old boards and getting all their equipment out and uh getting the car ready and and it's like Christmas, man. Every time, you know, a, a new a, a ski area opens up and, and you get to, you know, get back on the hill and just feel that rush. And, you know, it, opening day is just so exciting. I don't care if it is a thin, you know, white ribbon of man-made snow. This whole collaboration thing with the, with the Never Summer guys, how did that all come about? How did we end up with this awesome, awesome looking snowboard? These two great brands, uh, Never Summer and Breckenridge Brewery, decided to uh, work together to celebrate opening day and uh, work on a, both a snowboard and a beer collaboration. We did kind of a, a contest to, to find an artist. Uh, we wanted, yeah. obviously, everything local. We did. So we picked uh, 10 of our favorite local Colorado artists. And out of all of those designs, we held an online contest and showed them in some galleries uh, to show off these designs to see uh, which one everybody liked best. And through some voting, we decided on uh, one of our favorite local artists, uh, John Vogel's John design. Yeah. yeah, I think my design really fits the, the Colorado lifestyle, just in that you know, I, wanted, I wanted it to look like you know, something, something you would see or something you would be part of when you're snowboarding or when you're in the mountains, um, just so that it you know, feels like it's a, it's a part of your experience up there when you're snowboarding. It's amazing that the, that the process that these guys go through, it is a, it's truly a hands-on process. I think the thing that impressed me the most about everything with Never Summer was how much of it was done by hand. I had no idea. It's so tedious and so much care and effort has to go into each step. 90% of our materials come from here in the U.S. Um, our wood cores are, uh, are built, prefabricated to our specifications in Fort Collins. Some of our fiberglass comes from here and within here in Colorado. Our uh, base material comes from Ohio, so we're constantly sourcing and uh, buying, you know, uh, domestic materials. The celebration of this and celebration opening day, we we're going to have celebratory beer from Breckenridge Brewery that uh, is only available in Colorado. You can get the boards at, uh, uh, across the country. There's going to be promotions, I know, in various uh, bars and liquor stores and whatnot. But for us here in Colorado, man, we're going to have some kick-ass beer to celebrate those first flakes and the first runs. When we sat down initially with the Never Summer guys, uh, we started talking about what kind of beer we wanted to make for this. We thought ambers or red would be a good way to go, so it's going to be a, a hoppy imperial. People red. are liking hoppier beers. Yeah. We want to call it, uh, yeah, we want to call it Imperial Express, which is uh, the highest lift up in uh, Breckner's ski area. Handcrafted beer deserve, deserves handcrafted, uh, whether it be music or uh, snowboards. I thought a lot of the designs were just uh, awesome. I love them all. It was, it was hard to decide. The graphic for the Never Summer board, which is going on the uh, Never Summer SL, uh, which is a cornerstone board in our lineup, you know, it's pretty incredible and somewhat of a departure for uh, a Never Summer graphic, but it actually ties into our company really well. The shot of the elk is just like, that's Colorado, man. I mean, you know, when you're driving up over Red Mountain Pass, you know, and it's dusk and all of a sudden you come up, you come upon like a herd of a hundred elk and you hear them bugling and all that, that's Colorado. And that's like, I can almost hear the bugling when I look at that board.